Hey everybody, this is the Sliders Review, and I'm here today to talk to you about Power Rangers is officially dead. The whole Netflix reboot, that's now done. Honestly, I never saw that going forward. I never truly believed it was gonna go forward. So now Hasbro is trying to shop around Power Rangers to see who could take it. <sighs> who would wanna take it though? I mean, Disney had it, they don't want it no more, so I don't see Hulu picking it up because they own, or Hulu is owned by Disney. I don't see Nickelodeon wanting it anymore because they had it and didn't want it. And so Paramount Plus isn't going to take it because they're partners with Nickelodeon. <sighs> Maybe Amazon Prime or HBO Max. But the problem with HBO Max is that the guy who runs it is an idiot who gets rid of like everything. So I don't see them doing it. Maybe Amazon. And since Hasbro needs the money, I doubt it will go to any place free like Roku or Tubi. So, you know, if nobody picks it up, then it's dead in the water, man. And I'm glad it's not going to be with Netflix no more because I hate Netflix, but I hate the fact that Power Rangers is ending because I love Power Rangers and stuff. But honestly, it's like I said before, I truly just believe Hasbro just doesn't want Power Rangers no more. It's not what they put their investment in. When they bought it and got like Beast Morphers, they put a lot of money in it. They did a lot of cool stuff with that. You know, they put in the money to train the actors how to fight, the um the cool like costume, the, the new cockpit type thing, the um that new blaster that has to go with it. They put in the bucks that would make it successful and it was successful. But then they realized, hey, that kind of costs a lot of money. So let's go back the cheap route like they used to do before in the past. And with the Dino Fury thing, <laughs> that was about as cheap as you can get. And, you know, that in the toy sales haven't been good lately because they sold their, um, they went to like a different company to make like the toys and the products weren't that great. A lot of it got sent back. There were tons of people complaining about it online. So with toy sales being down and you know, that has to be the huge driving point for a kid show. If the toy sales aren't good, then they're not going to continue having the show. And that's their fault for, you know, the quality of the toys not being good. Then they started hiking up the prices of the toys and people didn't want to pay more money for cheaper material. I have not bought none of their weapons because they're such flimsy material. And it looks like something out of a Playmates toy out, which by the way, <laughs> they sold some of their toy rights to play, um, Playmates. Playmates ain't as bad as people think. I just bought the Ninja Turtle original sketch. Oh my God, they're amazing. <laughs> so Playmates can make some good toys, but they just want to make kiddo toys. And that's another problem with the whole brand of Power Rangers. When they started doing things like um, Dino Fury, they went back to that kitty route. I'm sorry, but Power Rangers isn't for kids no more. Kids don't even really watch it. It's the grown adults like me and you who watch this show and keep it alive. I got so sick and tired of all the baby humor in Power Rangers that it made me sick. And so I truly believe with all that stuff I just complained about, Hasbro just kind of like, you know what? It's not worth it. Like, it's just not worth it and stuff. And because if you ain't going to get your investment back, there's no point for them keeping it. I hope Saban buys it back because, you know, he helped create this show. And I, and I would think that something he created, he would not want to see die. But the problem with him buying it back is that he ruined it in the Nickelodeon era and stuff. He micromanaged way too much. Another thing that could be a major problem are the fans. The fans have become way too toxic. 
All they're doing now is complaining about diversity. See, the way I found out about this, I was watching this guy's video and I went through his comment section and some guy started going on like a anti-woke rant. He didn't say the word woke, but you can tell what he was talking about. He says, um, Disney's trying to kill Marvel and Star Wars. Warner Brothers is trying to kill DC. And he said, don't hire Simon Bennett and don't hire a one a week college diversity hire. See, that lets me know right then and there what this fool is talking about. And that has become the fandom lately. They're all about, we don't want to see strong women. We don't want a female Red Ranger. We don't want no gay character. That's all they've been ranting about. And those people are not real Power Ranger fans. Power Rangers has been woke since day one. It's just they're too busy kissing up to all those anti-woke YouTubers and becoming a sucker. Because like I said before, those anti-woke YouTube people, they do what they do because they know a sucker is born every day. And so as of right now, Power Rangers is completely kaput. That 2017 movie helped like put the nail in the coffin and everything because that was not power rangers whatsoever and with all that money going into it people are just bowing out but then again you know when it comes to hasbro what did they really expect when hasbro took over the company all the dvds stopped beast morphers never came out on dvd none of the ninja um um what was it ninja fit not ninja fit but um what is it called? Dino Fury? That stuff has never come out on DVD. They literally just didn't care. And I truly believe they just didn't. Like they did at first, because you know it's a big like kids program that's been around for 30 years. So they probably thought, hey, you know, like uh, we will make like a lot of money off this. And at first they was until they screwed up with Dino Fury. And you know. No ill towards Simon Bennett, but the man did not understand Power Rangers and stuff. And it's just, he, it's almost like he looked back on what it used to be. Then it's like he tried to, um, you know, broaden it and everything. Broaden it was fine, but adding in all that humor got on my nerves. And I bet you, sorry about that, my battery died. But what was I saying? Something about Hasbro. Um, I bet they was the one who kept making it silly and goofy, like in the Dino Fury stuff, because when Netflix did Dino Fury, like season two, there was a, a no season three, no cosmic Fury. That's it. When they did cosmic Fury, there were some things they wanted to do. They was willing to give it multiple episodes, but Hasbro was like, no, don't do that. And then Hasbro kept giving them one die man after another die man and giving Simon Bennett an, uh, one, um, the man. Uh, that's a die man <laughs> the man <laughs> sorry about that uh i'm just a little like upset about the news of power rangers being over but they they kept giving demand after demand after demand over and over it's to the point where they kept ruining the show and everything and cosmic fury like i said before was not that great in everything having 10 episodes was just like terrible and trying to cram so much in in 10 episodes just did not work and, you know, I just don't believe Hasbro cared anymore. And once they stopped caring, they was like, you know, whatever. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, because if nobody will buy this, that's it. It is done. Like, that is it. You know what I'm saying? Like, there will be no more. And it's sad. This has been around for like, what, 30 years? I grew up with this, man. I grew up with this. Alrighty. Well, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.